Hi Aquarius, how are you? My name is Lauren B. Welcome to the Untitled Tarot. I have laid out your spread this week with the Tarot of Mystical Moments and I also have the Priestess of Light Oracle that I want to use just to pull like a little bit of a general energy um, for what we have laid out for you today. As always Aquarius, your readings are timeless. This could be for any Aquarian placements. I always suggest you look outside your big three for readings, go by titles, go by timestamps. Energy is fluid, so this you could be going through this now. You just went through it. You're going through it in the future. This could be your energy, someone who's really connected to you. It could be their energy. Take it as it resonates. Take what applies. Let the rest fly. Let's pray. Father God, thank you for bringing me and my Aquarians in for this reading. I ask that you give me wisdom, clarity, and discernment to deliver these messages accurately for Aquarius' highest of love, light, alignment, and assignment. We praise you, we love you, we thank you always. We give you all the glory and the honor for these messages to the utmost high. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen, Aquarius. Let's see, we got a flopper. River of blessings, releasing constraints. 47. Breaks onto an 11. Alignment. You're in alignment, Aquarius. You're finally moving. The river of blessings. I can see how that ties into your main reading today because you definitely are on your way even if it doesn't appear like it the energy feels like it's finally starting to move in your favor but it feels like you are making a very short pit stop as you are kind of flowing down this river of blessings or this river of energy but I think that part of the main advice is to not make pit stops a permanent location for you, Aquarius. That seems to be very important. So the first card that we have coming out for you is the Knight of Pentacles. And when this card came out, it made me laugh a little bit because I had the Shuffle Mancy on for you. And that song by the Raconteur, Steady As She, Steady As She Goes, Steady As She Goes. And the Knight of Pentacles is very much of a Steady As She Goes sort of energy. That's what I'm saying. For part of this river of, of blessings, if it doesn't like feel like you're on the chariot, like moving super quickly, things are accelerating at a fast pace, that's because you're you're moving at a pentacles. It's slow, but it's steady. It's consistent. You have the ability to stay balanced as the move, movement is happening. Especially this horse on this card is made out of leaves, which gives me the impression also that you've offloaded a lot of burdens, a lot of unnecessarily unnecessary responsibilities or obligations, Aquarius, um, attachments, whatever it is that you need to let go of, you let go of it. So this kind of lettuce horse, it gives me the impression that like you're traveling very light. You're not traveling with a lot of burden or a lot of baggage at this point, but you seem to be making your way as we said, but there is a pit stop and the pit stop is to the moon. This moon card comes out and it feels like part of the pit stop that you're making is to the character on this moon. There's someone that requires your help, Aquarius, or someone that requires your assistance and they're sort of just hanging out. They feel kind of melancholy. They might have cancer placements, but someone just who has been waiting for you to show up. I don't necessarily even know if they specifically know it's you, but the Knight of Swords comes out. And when this Knight of Swords came out next to this moon card, it sort of gave me the impression of a request, a formal request, an application, um, some kind of petition. She is riding on this feather and it looks like she's trying to color in the clouds, right? So it gave me this feeling that whoever this moon card represents for you Aquarius that it might have been a silent petition it might have been something uh that they prayed for assistance or they tried to connect with you in the astral realm in the dream world telepathically that sort of thing that happens to me a lot I do a lot of dream work so sometimes you guys will reach out to me in the ethers and I'll answer the call and I'll show up in your dreams and I'll I'll do a healing or an activation or hang out like what, whatever it is that that like you really kind of require right like I you, you call I pick up the phone and so I'm wondering if someone is like kind of doing the same thing for you either they specifically are asking for your help energetically just kind of sending out that bat signal or if they're just asking for help period and you just happen to be like traveling along that path and so like you're the right one right you're you're the uh 
you are the service crew in the in the area you are the the door dasher within like the right perimeter to like pick up that order either or it, it doesn't really matter but that's definitely the impression that i'm getting here and they do feel a bit overwhelmed they just feel a little bit heavy like they've just been like going through some stuff they can't quite staring at the moon like that it's they, they can't quite figure out something that it feels the, as though you've already figured it out Aquarius and that might be why you are the right person to assist them because the queen of swords comes out next and so it's almost the idea that you notice the bat signal so you have this little periscope in your hand it's like and you're it always this card always I know it's a hot air balloon but it always feels a little bit like a hotel because there are all of these windows these doors these birds coming through sometimes this comes through as like the akashic records as well but where you connect in spirit where you connect um it reminds me it reminds me one of the the really old phone lines like the phone hotlines like the phone operators when it's like you used to have to call in and you'd get a, a little lady and she used to have to ask who you wanted to call and she'd have to like root you to the neighborhood then root you to the house then root you to the right room in the house it's almost like that and that's where you connect in the ether where all of the action happens where there is a, an influx and an outgoing of different spiritual energies kind of represented by these birds and you're just kind of hanging out there doing your thing connecting meditating sleeping and all of a sudden like they kind of alert you that there's like a bat signal coming in so you pull out your little periscope you start looking around you find the location you figure out who it is what it is they need where they are and then the six of swords comes out and then you enter in and with this little anchor it feels like you're trying to it almost feels like under the cloak of night under the cloak of night which is why i'm saying like maybe this is some kind of dream work that you're doing someone keeps popping up in your dreams needing help needing assistance or someone keeps popping up in your meditations or when you're in like a trance light state something like that but it feels like you're kind of traveling a little bit cognito under the cloak of night and part of this anchor is that you are pulling up the frequency you're pulling up the vibration of their environment it has to, whatever this is it has to do with the environment and maybe the moon represents cancer energy but cancer also is representative of the fourth house the fourth house is the house of um uh, of hearth and home right it, it's it's this area like right in which you spend most of your time in that's why it feels like you're uplifting the uh, the energy of their home or their environment or where they spend most of their time but it feels like again you're doing it energetically you're doing it in the dream world you're doing it in the astral something like that because then the queen of pentacles comes out which is exactly what the queen of pentacles does she knows how to make a good home she knows how to make things bloom she knows how to make things blossom and as i was staring at this card i noticed there's this little fence behind her but there's an opening right here which kind of brought in a little bit of that eight of swords energy right like perceived blockages or self-limitations where truly there are none it's just kind of a distorted perspective and that that might also be some of the work or the healing or activation or whatever you're doing again dream astral energy work for whomever this is as part of uplifting the energy of their home or their environment is showing them that they're not trapped in it and that if anything through intention through plot proper planting or planning that there can be fertility there can be growth exactly where they are which might have been the thing that they were petitioning for to begin with now as you're coming into this space to do this work you also seem to be departing with some kind of advice for them and part of the advice is the eight of pentacles it's about being grounded in the situation. Oftentimes, like, we can feel as though we want to escape. I'm a Pisces, so I know all about escapism. But sometimes we can fall into escapism or too much fantasy and try and look for a way to escape our situation, right? Instead of trying to improve our situation where it is and so part of the advice you seem to be giving to this person is that they don't need to go high and kind of jump the fence they need to actually like get low ground themselves in like the present moment and pay attention to detail there's 
when we look at the eight of pentacles it talks about mastery and particularly mastery through repetition um but it doesn't have to be for a lack of creativity because here she is painting right and she's painting this butterfly but she's very focused on it she's focused on the details and and that is something that sometimes I think we forget, like we think creativity and discipline are different, but they're not actually. It's the same thing with any discipline or any craft or any trade or any skill is you have to be repetitive. You have to practice it. You have to be really focused on what you're doing on all the little details. Um, and that can be an expression of your creativity to transform yourself to transform your environment right um and that seems to be something that you're advising them don't go high go low get close to the ground stay present stay focused in what you're doing look around at your current environment what needs to be improved where can you focus more of your energy because as you as the queen of pentacles the queen of pentacles is really intentional about her energy where is she planting it where is good so soil she knows how to take care of herself her own energetic reserves but she's also aware of the needs of the people around her as well and so that seems to be part of the advice is be aware of the need that is present in your environment be aware of your own needs develop a routine some of it could be develop a routine add in more creativity but you need to stay kind of focused on the details what do you want it has to be more than it's almost like you have to give the universe more to go on than just i want out i want more i want to leave what do you, where do you want to go? What do you want to do? Like, how would you like to get there? It's right. And there's something beautiful about kind of creating a story for yourself, creating um, a wish list, or it's that kind of thing, uh, really uh, particular manifestations. Like it's something like that. The King of Swords is also coming out. So this seems to be coupled with the advice that you're giving in this Eight of Pentacles. And it's something about moving kind of smoothly through challenges and through oppositions this king of sword looks a bit like a samurai right now when i think of samurais i think of of people that are incredibly skilled in their craft like they are phenomenal warriors but they're not chaotic they're very intentional about where they're moving their body they're able to see strategically just like the king of swords a few steps ahead what challenge may lie in just a few moments and they're able very gracefully to kind of uh, uh move and flow with that and so that also seems to be some of the advice is almost like don't fool yourself like there will be challenges and there will be opposition but if you're very clear-minded and you're very focused because you're grounded and you're paying attention to the details You'll be able to foresee challenges before they arise and you will be able to strategize a way around them very smoothly, very calmly in a way that doesn't kind of like upset your apple cart and, and you will, you will meet your end. Like you will meet your, your accomplishment. You will get to the other side. So it seems like you are departing at that point with this information and you go back into your own energy you go back as the star but it does seem to appear as though you are keeping an eye on this situation now whoever is represented in this moon card they are now sitting in the hermit and so they've kind of moved off of the moon but they're still very kind of hands off they're still a little bit isolated as i'm looking at this hermit card this tower right here it's a lighthouse so theoretically like they should be shining their own light at this point right to be present to be seen to be the uplifting force in their environment um to be able to magnetically pull in the right people the right situations the right learning experiences whatever it is but that doesn't seem to be what's happening what is good is they are going from all of the tentacles in this moon card as like an octopus to just this one fin like a mermaid right so it does say that their energy isn't it's more focused on themselves uh it, it has come back to center a bit but they're not illuminating from within the way that they really need to be right and you know again they should be the lighthouse they should be illuminated from within the light from the lighthouse should be coming from them but it's not because it's coming from outside of them. Do you see how they have this little fish hook? And it almost makes me feel like you are noticing Aquarius that they are having a hard time 
applying whatever kind of advice you gave them um it's like they made some progress but they're really like not all the way there and so you are using your wand to kind of uh, emit a light so that way they can sort of use it learn from it transition with a little bit of your light your excess light um because you have more to spare it's like this queen of pentacles like you have energy to spare you have light to spare so it's kind of like you are lending some of it to whoever this moon hermit energy is it's kind of like with this little hook it's like this teach amanda fish it's like i will shine my excess light over here like i see that you're still having a hard time so i'm gonna i'm gonna keep my personal space right because you're an aquarius and that's what you do i'm gonna keep my personal space but i'm gonna shine a little of my extra light onto your situation so that way like you can you can use it whoa whoa everything is fine so you can use it in the interim while you are still figuring out chaos well you are still that's eclipse energy for you um well you are still figuring out how to emit your own light right i also noticed that these ships are coming in because the knight of cups comes up next which is almost a little bit of this siren song energy and so again like you departed your advice you you went back into like your own energy field but intuitively you still know that they're struggling so you're shining a little extra light at them until they can figure out how to do it for themselves and in the in the interim you are kind of playing a little bit of this siren song that i think with the intention of it is to bring these ships into this person so that could be a learning lesson an opportunity a uh, more physical support right because maybe you're not there physically this is just like an energetic spiritual thing or maybe you live far away but it's that kind of thing like you are using your magnetizing powers to call in whatever added assistance this person needs right you're doing a lot like that's the thing this is where like the the story got kind of interesting for me because you're on your way like you're flowing down a river but like you are finally making slow but steady progress right and then you have this little pit stop you are kind of meant to impart this advice and then sort of keep it moving. But because you notice this person is still struggling, it seems like you decide to stick around like a little longer just to kind of help them out and call in this added assistance. Maybe you don't want to leave them without any extra assistance. And so that is why you're staying around. But I do see some frustration brewing here, Aquarius, because as you are shining this extra light, as you are playing this siren song, trying to kind of pull in this extra assistance for them right i don't know why you feel so responsible for them but you do this two of pentacles comes out and it's almost the idea that even though you're shining you even though you imparted this advice even though you're shining this extra light even though you're playing this siren song and you're you're energetically like calling in opportunities this could also be super literally too like you could have made a phone call for someone to help get them like a job or get them a place to live or help them find a babysit like whatever it is and this person's like asleep they're like asleep on the hotline right like they do not hear that hotline bling they're just sitting there and there's something like that is very curious to that about you there's something a little it irritates you it definitely feels like it's rubbing you the wrong way it's one of those like no good deed goes unpunished kind of thing but the queen of wands comes out next and i feel like this energy is for you aquarius and this light it seems like this is an aspect of your higher self or your spirit team kind of like shining a light what are those the house lights the house lights it's like in a theater and they kind of uh they shine the house lights when it's like uh, it's time to go or like the show is almost done or it's about to wrap up and everyone can like get up it's like before you get too annoyed they're trying to bring something to your attention because the four of swords comes out and then judgment they're almost saying before you hit a point aquarius i almost called you side of chairs before you hit a point where you have to then go into rest and recovery out of frustration or because you've extended too much energy to whomever this is. It's like they're calling judgment. They're calling like an end game. They're saying like, it's time to go. It's time to go before you get yourself in a hole because you are like the most philanthropic of all the signs. Like you like emotional distance. You want to help people from all the way over there, but like you will help people and energy exchanges exist regardless of physical proximity right so like aquarius before this becomes a problem before you drain yourself 
before anything, it's time to go. Woo! Time to go. Pack up your shit. Let's go. And so there almost seems to be this frustration or this questioning that you have, Aquarius, that it's like, why was I asked to make this pit stop if, if this person won't even take my advice? And I understand that frustration. And so I think that there's a lesson in here for you, as I said in the beginning, that a pit stop is not supposed to be a permanent residence and that you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make them drink. And you can impart advice um, or guidance or healing, wisdom. You can do all of that for people, but it's their job in which to take it, to integrate it, to apply it. And I understand that frustration because I... I do, I can do this sometimes and I, sometimes I get frustrated as well. And it's a lesson that I had to learn because I do a lot of personal mentoring, like behind the scenes. And there are a lot of people I'm like, I see your potential. I see what you could do and I'll do whatever I can for them. I could give them advice. I'll give them a company name. I'll, I'll do, I'll do all of these different things. But at the end of the day, if they don't want to put in the work, if they don't want to apply the advice, if they don't, if they don't want to work it then that's on them, right? That's got nothing to do with me. It's about if you get a call, if you see a bat signal, you answer it because that is one, a testament to your abilities, your skill set, your empathy um, in which to go out of your way to help others. But what they do with that help, if they use it or not, that's not up to you. That may be a learning lesson for them because it's, it's happened again for me before that people have come to me for advice. I've given it to them. They haven't used it. Six months later, they're like, I wish I took your advice. But like, that's a learning lesson when help is available. Like you, you use it to the best you can, right? Um, but it's also an exercise in detachment for you. That if you get a call, you answer it, you make the pit stop, but then you keep going on your river. You don't want to back up the river, back up your flow of blessings because you are trying to do someone else's homework for them if that makes any sense. So I don't feel like you're at that point. I feel like before you get, it's like right when you get a little bit annoyed, your team comes in and they're like, oh no, 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 pack it up, pack it up Aquarius before this becomes a problem. We're calling, we're calling end of this game. Get your stuff, get back up on your horse and steady as you go, keep moving. So this is what I have for you today, Aquarius. I am going to go and do an extended reading for you. So if you're interested in your extended reading, if you're interested in your monthly reading, those links will be down below. Um, consider joining our Patreon. We have all of the extendeds. We have all of the monthlies. I host a spiritual development workshop over there. The Patreons are killing it. I do offer personal services. If you're interested in booking a reading with me, my booking information is in the description box. I love you very much. Be nice to yourselves. Be kind to each other. Get back on the horse. I'll see you next time.